In this exercise we are going to check if those two statements are equivalent. And to do this we could yet again use the truth table. But in this second exercise I will use equivalent transformations to check if those two terms are equivalent. I will start by writing down one of the terms and from there we will transform it. So our goal is to transform this term into something that looks like this other term. Thus we are going to start by removing this implication. To do this we need to know that A implies B is semantically equivalent to not A or B. So in our case Q implies P will be transformed to Q negated or P. As a next step we are going to use the distributive law, where we are going to join the P with every element inside those parentheses. After doing this we get P and not Q or P and P. From there we can simplify this P and P. Now we have P and not Q or P, which is really close to our desired statement, but we are not quite there yet. Now we could try to use the Morgan's laws to negate this P, but this would also flip this OR to an AND, which is not what we want. Furthermore, we might try to remove the negation in front of the Q using the Morgan's laws, but this would also negate the P and flip the AND to an OR, which is also not what we want. So after applying the Morgan's laws, we would get this term. But this term isn't equivalent to our desired statement either. So with that we have proven that those two statements aren't equivalent. Just for demonstration purposes I have added a truth table. And by using the truth table we can see that those two columns aren't equivalent. This would be a second valid option to prove that those statements aren't equivalent.